Good morning to Helen Pearson, who's been there all morning. Um, but you've been talking to the community there, haven't you? And they're still trying to, uh, I mean, look smiley, even though things are not at all happy there. Yes, that's right. This is a tiny village, but I mean, they were devastated by floods, and that's why places like this tiny sports club have become real salvation for flood victims and a hub for volunteers doing their best to help people out. We've got lots of donations that have been coming in, things like cleaning products, a heap of food have been pouring in, hot food here as well, beds out the back that people have been using. Storm Frank posed such a threat as well that the army were even drafted in to help sandbag the river, which burst its banks on Boxing Day. Poor Martin, it devastated your bungalow, and there you were away in Southampton celebrating Christmas, you come back, you've lost your car, you've lost your tools for your building trade, your wife's an artist, lost work. How are you coping? Yes, well, you've just got to cope. Um, we've had an army of friends helping us out. Um, they've just been fantastic. The whole community's come together. Um, we've had work meals in the sports club. It, 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 this place hadn't have been here. We'd have really struggled. Some people are very cross as well that flood defences should have been complete earlier this year and they haven't. People like you want to sell your home. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, <laughs> slightly angry because uh, it's uh, not such a good advert, a flood, if you're trying to sell your house. But hopefully once this um, flood alleviation has been completed, everything should be okay. Okay, well, so, we wish you best for the new year, thank Martin. Thank you very much. Well, let's speak now uh, to Craig, who's been helping coordinate things here. Uh, Craig, this is the first morning for a while. There haven't been flood warnings or threats, uh, but this is the time when the club really comes into its own because, you know, adrenaline's dipped. People really need their spirits lifted. Yeah, still. no, absolutely. We got we got the call Christmas Day evening that obviously the, the floods were coming. Boxing Day it was full. Every, every every man to himself to try and get themselves get all the flood um, the sandbagging done throughout the village the river levels then started to rise the the roads in the village became rivers um, and it was an absolute nightmare to be fair people's homes devastated but obviously managed to get rid of the water and the sports club in effect then started became the, the flood headquarters the evacuation center we were providing hot food and drink for people and shelter we had a number of people sleeping in here for two last two or three nights just to give them some sort of protection and, yeah. so, and some sort of shelter we've done a marvelous job i know there's a big new Year's Eve party here because New Year's goes on as normal. The motto here really is onwards and upwards. Let's put 2015 behind us. Hope for some better luck in the new year. Yeah, absolutely. Helen, thanks very much and happy new year to everybody there. Let's hope they're able to have some sort of celebration throughout everything that's going on. Yeah.